chaos and death caused by an Israeli drone. This mobile phone video was shot just minutes after the strike. Witnesses tell us a missile was fired at a motorcycle parked only meters from a UN school being used as a shelter. Several people were killed and dozens wounded. More than three and a half weeks into this conflict and around a quarter million people now live in schools like this across the Gaza Strip. The shelters are meant to be safe havens from violence but have now been targeted by Israeli fire at least three times. These UN schools which are being used as shelters are clearly full of children, children who were killed and injured in the attack. Tamer Bardawil shows me the footage he filmed just moments after the drone strike. He tells me what he saw. The street was full of children buying sweets from the shop that's by the main gate. What did they do? They are only kids. So many people were dead. So many were hurt. Most of the injured were brought here first. This is Rafa's Kuwaiti hospital. It specializes in obstetrics and only has around a dozen beds. But since the almost immediate collapse of Friday's 72-hour ceasefire, it has treated hundreds of people, many of them in the outdoor car park, which now doubles as a triage. The, the Kuwait hospital is for maternity, not uh, prepared uh, for receiving this, uh, uh, this uh, huge number of uh, injured. Uh, most of cases uh, are transferred to Robian Gaza Hospital and uh, Nasser Hospital. Uh, and the road is very difficult. Uh, the ambulances are excluded by uh, occupational force. Rafa has seen some of the worst fighting in recent days. Between Friday and Sunday morning, more than 200 people were killed, many of them children.